Hey! Today we are going to talk about the most efficient way to handle semi-structured data in the lakehouse. As you know, JSON is the most popular format uh, to handle semi-structured data because of its flexibility and also because it's supported by most programming languages. And JSON can be handled in, in two options in Databricks. The first option is you treat data as a string. This option is very easy and flexible, but parsing the data is very slow. And the second option is schema inference. You must determine a schema that works with all the data. And keep in mind that schema enforcement is very strict, which means that incoming data must be compatible with the existing schema. So it's either too strict or too slow. But thanks to variant, things are going to change. First of all, because variant data type is open. It has been implemented for Apache Spark and Delta Lake. It's flexible because it takes schema on read approach and performance thanks to the offset based binary format. Variant is very useful when the JSON sources have unknown, changing, and frequently evolving schema. And let me show you in this demo how to get started with variant data type quickly. The first thing, I'm gonna use my catalog called Delta Demo. And as you can see, we have six new functions. The first one is parse JSON, and this one is used to convert JSON, JSON to variant. The second one, to JSON, of course, to go from variant to cast, to convert variant to uh, JSON string. Variant get is to extract the path of specified type from variant. Cast is uh, to and from uh, variant. Schema variant, so this one's gonna return the schema uh, string of variant and last but not least variant explode which is a table function for ms in a variant so let's have a look at the first example i'm just creating a table and i'm using the function parse json and inside this function i'm going to put a json file so i'm going to create uh, this table called uh, store data and then i'm going to use uh, um, or i'm going to access this data because my table is called row, so I'm gonna row and I'm gonna access, for example, the owner. So basically over here, I'm gonna have the result, the owner is Emmy, or I can uh, access, if I remember the schema, so it's need to be store, store and bicycle. And then of course I can access the color Red. So this is a very easy way to access data. If I want to use the variant explode to get all this data in one row. So as you can see over here, I have the key, bi basket, bicycle, book, fruit, and the value. This is the result of my uh, JSON file. And the second option is to create uh, a table with a column called with the type variant. And then I'm going to use the copy into uh, function to copy JSON data that I already put in my volume. I specify the format, which is JSON, and then I'm adding a format option to specify uh, a single variant column. And of course, this column should be the column, the, the variant column type. So now I can just run the select star. So this is how the data uh, looks like now I'm gonna start or try to understand the schema of my variant uh, type. So I have the object, age is a begin, city string, friends is an object. Inside I have hobbies and the name of the name of the friend. And then I can access the data. So data is my variant data type. 2.h access the age, data city, and of course I can access the information I have inside my uh, array. So this is how it looks like, age 78, the city is Austin, friends hobbies, and uh, friends name, hobby, and so on. I can also use the variant get. So over here I'm accessing the, the friends, the first friend, and I'm getting the hobbies. So see over here, say watching sport, reading, skiing, snowboarding. And again, I can also use the variant explode over here. So I'm just gonna uh, get all the different hobbies. So I'm using the variant get over here. 
I use in a C and then I'm using a lateral uh, variant explode. So I'm combining between variant get and variant explode. And over here I get all the list of uh, hobbies. And this is, that was a quick example to uh, walk you through the variant uh, data type. Thank you.